Greetings. My apologies for not posting in a while. Uh, we're going to have to look at the book of Deuteronomy uh, as, as a whole here. and We'll be catching up and getting more videos uh, posted soon. The book of Deuteronomy contains several addresses by Moses given to the people of Israel with the hopes of encouraging Israel to be obedient to God's law. Now, at the conclusion of Moses' first address, he stresses how loyalty is necessary to the special relationship that Israel has with God, that the exile is due to their unfaithfulness, but repentance is still possible. So God is compassionate and will not allow the unfaithfulness of Israel to destroy and end this special relationship because God is faithful even when Israel is not. Uh, obedience has a key role and a key theme here. We see a connection between obedience and the possession of the land in Deuteronomy. And when Israel ignores God's commandments, disaster strikes. So uh, obedience is definitely a foundation and lack of obedience has consequences in uh, the people of Israel's relationship with God. Uh, moving on in Deuteronomy, in chapter 5, verse 6, we read, um, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Now, this is an introduction uh, for us into the Ten Commandments, but for uh, the Jewish people, it's the first commandment, I believe, that uh, this declaration uh, deals with God's gracious establishment of a relationship with God in Israel. You know, uh, he's claiming them as his own, and he's reminding them what he's done for them. And then he frees them with this teaching and instruction of these commandments. In chapter 6, we get the Shema, the hero Israel, that the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I'm commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you're at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead, and write them on the doorposts of your house uh, and on your gates. Uh, so this is the, as I said in Hebrew, the Shema, which is to I mean in Hebrew to listen, to hear. Uh, Israel's commandment is commanded to learn God's word um, and God's laws and to teach them to their children. So again, this isn't, uh, I think as Christians we could say, hey, um, it's not about just a once a week uh, event and going to church, right? This is about sharing uh, the word of God, the laws of God, the teaching and instructions of God, and having it permeate our lives that our children would know uh, this God because it's so real to us each and every day of our lives, right? That's how real uh, that uh, God is inviting the people of Israel to make it, that God is so close and so ever present that it uh, that we, we acknowledge and carry God with us every day of our lives and we pass it on to our children. If we only devote uh, minutes or an hour a week to God, what are our children going to think of that? Right? How important in that, all the other hours of the week. Uh, so there's something to this command here to listen, to hear. That God is always with us, always teaching us, always instructing us, always calling us to himself and wanting this to be passed on uh, to future generations. What are some of the things we decorate and put around our houses inside and out? Um, are there markers uh, that we belong to God and that God belongs to us in this sense? Uh, something to think about as we try to do more, I think, as a church in having uh, uh, our children uh, learn and grow the faith at home and not just at church. Uh, in Deuteronomy, we get this sense that too that God chooses us. That's not our works or merits uh, that God uh, that God comes to us, but because God chooses us. That's certainly a, this is a theme here uh, that we get in Deuteronomy. Um, we get a sense that Moses urges Israel uh, to remember that they're dependent upon God, uh, and he warns them about. Um, how uh, pride, uh, being too prideful, uh, thinking that they can do it all on their own um, is going to get them anywhere. No, depending on God is what's going to get them uh, to their goal in, in reaching the promised land. So obedience leads to life. 
Uh, disobedience leads to death. That's, a, that's certainly a theme in Deuteronomy. And that there's a word, the word of God surely comes to us, we don't come to it. Um, and we get that in Deuteronomy chapter 30, uh, when we read, who will go up to heaven for us uh, and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it. Uh, neither is it beyond the sea that you would say, who will cross the other side of the sea for us and get it for us so that we may hear it um, and observe it. Uh, no, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. Uh, that's, uh, Deut that's Deuteronomy chapter 30. So again, God coming to his people, uh, God claiming them as his own, God calling for obedience, uh, but God always ever present, in the sense that we don't go to God, God comes to us. And that God always um, with us, uh, so close to us that he, in our mouths, uh, in our heart, uh, that we should be proclaiming and sharing uh, the God that's in our lives, the God that is always with us, teaching it to future generations and sharing the love of God with our neighbors.